give some to the kookaburra. See if the kookaburra will come down. That's the kookaburra, but no, he missed out. Couple of big crows. Did you get some cookie? Yes, you got some. Well done. No, it's a bit hard to pick it up, isn't it? When it's mushed mince on the ground. <laughs> Look at all the blossoms. <laughs> the um, jacarandas in bloom. And of course all the petals. All the flowers fall down onto the deck. Oh my gosh. We need to get the blower out and blow them away. Hang on, I'm getting another scoop, guys. Wait a minute. Where did the kookaburra go? All right, I think everyone's calmed down now. Babies have been fed. <clears throat> what about you? You want something, do you? All right, here we go. Here's a little something for you. Here you go. Quick, get it before the big birds come. Quick! Quick! Yes, you're very delicate, aren't you? This is actually a honey eater, but uh, they do eat meat as well. He's got a very long tongue. I don't know if you can see his tongue, but he's got a really, really long tongue for licking up the, the nectar from the blossoms. Just pokes it out really quickly. But he does enjoy some insects and things. This is the one with the sore leg. It's been sore for a couple of weeks now, but he's, he's managing. It's a butch bird. Hello. Here we go. I'll give you some cookies. Seems you've come up nice and close. Do you want that? There you go. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to eat it or take it to your babies? What are your thoughts? You're welcome. He's thinking. Are you going to eat it or take it away? No. He's taking it away. You must have babies in the nest. Well, maybe we'll get to see babies soon. All right, you guys, I'm going to go and do some work. See you tomorrow. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. It's fairy day. It is. And uh, I'm going to do one in kind of reds and oranges today. Totally, totally inspired by the lovely Genevieve. Hi, Jen. As usual, I love, I love her blooms. Uh, fairy flowers. All right, so um, I've got a little bit of just black little tiny stones. I have made up more because I want to make some discs. So that's going to be my center. I've got my white in here. I've used the cast and craft today. Um, I find that the, it's got a much higher ratio of oil to pigment paste. So um, it's just a little bit lighter and kind of floats. So I've still kept it quite transparent. You can see the stick right through it. I'm using a dirty stick so you can actually see through it. So that's that. Um, now my edge, you know how I normally do my edges in, in a metallic like this one? Um, like there's little tips here. So I love this one. I'm going to try and get that again. But different colours. So I've got in this little cup, I've got some super bronze and some red mica powder. And I've just mixed those together in here. And I've got a tiny bit, that's only like five grams of resin. Just a tiny little bit, just to do my, just to do my tips. About that. You want to make it opaque enough that um, it drops down. I'll see what that looks like. <laughs> I don't know. Just like a dark. Like a burgundy, I guess. Look at that. It's pretty. So that's those two in there. And that's going to be for my little tips. I'll do those in a minute. But uh, I'm going to do beetroot. This is by Octopus Inks. I better give it a shake. <laughs> I don't like shaking it because it, it spits at me. 
all right and I try not to open the bottle over my resin because sometimes it's got little dry crusty bits around the side and I don't want it falling into my resin um, I don't know how many to do one two three four let's try four and see what that looks like so it's like a purpley I guess I thought it was more of a red but no it's a beetroot beetroots are kind of ready purple aren't they anyway beetroot that's quite dark I think four will do four will do let's put the lid back on that I'm gonna write that down four drops of beetroot all right keep stirring it though make sure you stir it really well so it's no longer streaky and I know it looks really dark in there but when you lift up your stick actually I'll just clean the stick so that it's um see what color that is see it's still really transparent it just looks really dark in the cup there so um, I've got about an ounce of resin in this one this is my highest amount maybe a little bit over the highest amount that's going to be on my exterior and then I've got slightly less of this one this is pumpkin also by octopus fluids it's a resin ink it's not an alcohol ink open it over there uh, let's try the same one two three four it's not going to be as dark though because it's just you know it's a lighter ink to begin with mm, do I want another one do I want another one I don't know that looks quite a lot lighter than that let's go another let's do another two so six it's it, just a lighter color I'll write that down six pumpkin all right so those are my colors I've got my white which I'll put into my piping bag I've got my beetroot I've got my pumpkin so when I did this one I did the lighter color puddle in the middle and then I poured my darker color around the edge I'm not going to do that today I'm going to do more of a puddle pour today just so that I get a bit more of a blending all right so here we go just gonna pop this in into my little crevices here of my cascade mold I am using the art pro resin by resin pro I'll link it for you with a coupon code down below the resin that is <laughs> I'll also link the um, the mold as well in my description if you want to get the cascade mold it's my most popular mold everyone loves it I love it so I'll pop that down in the description for you as well so this doesn't take long if you wanted to you could dust these with mica powder first you get a similar effect I guess this is just a little bit more kind of blended because it's wet as opposed to dry and the dry just stays where you put it um, whereas the you know the wet resin kind of moves a little bit and you get a little bit of the that um, mica powder that's in here just kind of flowing a little bit I'm trying to pull it up to the edges but it just wants to fall back down that's fine once I put the other colors on it'll kind of push back a little bit so that's it I didn't use it all it's fine alrighty spilt dripped in there let me get my little oh, I'm trying to get a baby wipe out there we go it doesn't have to be perfect but we'll try and get a baby wipe out right I'm gonna put the white into my bag my little piping bag I always cut the ends off the piping bags because they're too long for me I know some people tie knots and things in them I just twist it and tuck it away in my hand so I use the small piping bags I get them from eBay there's small medium and large I get the meat uh, I get the small and then I just cut the top off as well so it just fits over my little cups and these are um, 120 mils little espresso shot glass cup all right uh, four ounce okay so um, we're gonna pour this one in first like I said I'm gonna try puddle pour today so pour that in first just to see if we can get a little bit more blending so when I did that other one that I just showed you in the brown tones for that one um, I did make my little white dots a little bit bigger um, and I found I got better petals for making it a little bit bigger 
so we'll see how that goes. Then I might do that. Oh, well, I will do the same thing. All right, so this is the pumpkin, and that's going into the middle, like so. You can do either, you know, you can do put the, the lighter colour in the puddle in the middle and then just pour your other one around the outside of it if you don't want them to blend too much. But I'm trying to get them to blend a little bit today, so we'll do it this way. All right, that can go out of the way, that can go there. The rest of it I've got here, this is my push. Um, what do I want to put in my push? Actually, might put just a little bit of this pumpkin into my push. Now I'm just going to pour over my toothpick and let it just get a little bit on there. Just we'll see what that looks like. I don't want it too dark. That'll be fine. So I call it a toothpick full. Okay, <laughs> whatever falls onto the toothpick and the rest of it falls off. So that's that's just going to be in. Now that's my clear push. So for this first amount of resin for the Art Pro, I did 100 grams of A and 66 grams of B. Art Pro is a 3 to 2 resin. So that's what I've done there. Um, and then after I've finished, I will make up a clean, fresh, little bit of resin for my second push. All right. Now, I have got my mould up on, on a trivet, see, just to keep it up off the the bench, a um, little bit of airflow underneath it. I find that my resin cures slower, which is what you want. You don't want a fast curing resin for this technique. So I just twist it and then tuck it in there. So I'm going to make my hole a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to cut about there. I'm not going to do it here because it's going to go into my resin, but probably a little about. three millimeters maybe like that can you see that about three millimeters two or three all right now we're going to start the dotting look at all that copper gone over the edges there over oh gosh hope those are not too big now so yeah i'm going to try for slightly bigger dots and little gaps in between um, i'm not putting the white right up against the edge because i kind of want a little bit of the darker edge and when I do my push um, the white is going to flow towards the edge anyway so I'm not going to put white right into the edge so here we go dotting 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 feel free to fast forward so you're yeah, making my dots a little bit bigger spacing them a little bit further apart just to try and get like you know puffier bigger puffier petals. I have done it with small, really tiny drops, as small as I could get them, heaps in there. Um, yet I just didn't like the effect as much as what I do when I do the bigger dots like this. All right, so that's it for the first amount. Now I'm gonna put, pour this in, just find your middle, pour that in like so. Don't have to scrape it out, there's plenty there. Alright, twist this back up again. And start dotting. I'm gonna start, whoa, I'm gonna start halfway between where the, the white section is about that, going in the middle of those those drops there. So you can already see that the outside is like a purpley tone and then inside we've got like a orange and then kind of yellow right in the middle, which is that clear push that I've just done. Clear with a half a drop of orange. Light orange. It's just yellow basically really, isn't it? It's basically yellow. I'm going to go back into the middle again now. And I am going to go just around the outside again, just to help push all those dots in. So basically I'm just doing the same as what I did on the first layer of dots. But just in a slightly different order. 
and again not going too close to the very edge try and do this as fast as you can so that your resin is not going to start curing okay all right so that's that done now I've got a little bit of white left um, no, I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to do any more dots. Leave the white there. I'm going to mix up a tiny bit of resin. I'm going to use a fresh cup. And I'm only going to do 28 grams of A and 18 grams of B. I'll be right back. So I've got my resin in here. And I'm, I'm mixing quite fast. I'm actually trying to create some bubbles in my resin just to help the white dots kind of float a little bit rather than drop straight down so it's really hard to mix a tiny little bit of resin slowly <laughs> so anyway I'm kind of whipping it now this technique that I'm doing here totally totally inspired by resincourses.com by um, Micah she was the original creator uh, we have seen lots of people do it change a few things make the, their own um, but so this is basically a fairy flower if you've seen Micah's fairy flower um, you'll know that she puts the colors in she puts the dots in she does a push and then leaves it so this is kind of like a triple fairy flower it's dots push dots push dots <laughs> yep dots push yeah three layers of dots <laughs> so it's a triple flower uh, tri triple fairy flower so that'll do me I've got still got 24 seconds to go but it's still a tiny it's only a tiny little bit of resin so I don't need to mix it for a full four minutes uh, three and a half is fine all right so I can see that that white has pretty much fallen to the bottom already so I'm just gonna pour that in we don't need all of it you don't want to um, overfill the mold so you've got to be careful about that now this is our third layer of dots and I'm gonna go kind of well oh gosh where the where the purple ends you can see where the purple is there I'm just gonna start about here that being well, one big dot after I twisted up my bag hopefully it'll be all right I didn't mean for that much to come out so the resin's still moving because I've just poured in that fresh batch of resin and it was you know it's nice and thin hopefully it'll move everything out I'm just going to go around the outside I've still got a little bit of white left again pushing hopefully pushing all those little dots forward that I've just done and I'll go around again just using up my resin I won't use all of it just to about this ring here because from from this area here from there to there on the other side it's the little cascades anyway so you don't need more dots on it I think I don't think I'm very central though I'll go a little bit more here just because I don't feel as if I'm very centered I feel as if I've got more on that side um, and then that's it so I've got a tiny bit of white left but that's fine um, now I'm not going to torch it I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to set my alarm for 15 minutes um, and then I'm going to come back I'm not going to put that just I'm not going to put that in just yet when I did this one I didn't put any anything in um, I came back and I just sucked out like two or three mil just because I wanted to get that symmetrical center um, I find if I don't it's just kind of blobby whereas if I suck some out and go I kind of get that that suctioned kind of puckered look in the middle so I'm gonna I'll do that um, so I'll take a little bit out well I might not take a little bit out but I'll put that in all right <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do anyway I'm gonna cover it um, I'm going to come back in 15 minutes see what it's looking like and then put in that crushed glass see you soon all right so it's been 15 minutes move that away and let's go down and have a little look 
so it's all closed up it's not all that symmetrical on the top left there there's a little bit of space where there's no white so um yeah but it's looking really good looking good there's the edge like I said, I don't want too much white on the edge because I want it to be a little bit darker and then the lighter in the middle. So it definitely looks as if we've got a little bit of purple there and then lighter in the middle. But there is a lot of this bronze sort of floating over the top, which you won't see that because it's going to be the back. So I'm going to pop you back up on the stand and I'm going to just suck out just two mil. Two mil. Um, like I said, just to get that little puckered kind of look. I can't see if it's focused or not. That's it. Um, then I'll put the black in. Um, with my leftover resin from that second push I added some green, three different green glitters um, and I'll make some dots. I don't really have, I've got a light, I've got a light green. But anyway, I thought I might do a, a dark green as well. They're great, <laughs> leftover resin. Uh, all right, um, now I will give it a bit of a, a torch now. Oh, I need to get a new syringe out. I think I've got a pack of 20, something like that on, on Amazon. And I can generally get about, mm, if I look after them really well, clean them really well each time, um, maybe six six uses out of them just depends on how well I clean them because <laughs> then they lose that easy glide all right so because I've got some clear there without any white dots in it I'm just going to pop that I'm going to touch the bottom lift it up just a millimeter or so and what have we got I think I take out such a little amount it's like two and a half yeah, two and a half mil <laughs> and I'll just squirt that out uh, make sure you clean it. I do have my little cup of alcohol in here, isopropyl alcohol. I'm not going to do it near that in case I splash, but I just go up, down, up, down and clean that little syringe out. Um, and then I also take the plunger out and then swirl it around in the alcohol and then clean that as well. And I just spilled my alcohol. <laughs> Alright, now we've done that. So now, um, can you, can you guys see? Hopefully, hopefully you can see that it's all nice and symmetrical and puckered there. So let's just plop a blob of this into the middle. Make sure you don't drop it anywhere else but the middle. It's a bit difficult for it to drop now because it's getting quite thick. Make sure you don't drop it anywhere else. Um, but you can't, because it's a dark centre, you can kind of see, you know, where it's going and then maybe you can change it a little bit if you want it to move a little bit. But I think it's pretty good. Like, I don't mind if it's not totally, totally round or anything. Okay, now, my leftovers. If you don't want to watch, you can fast forward to the end of the video, but I'm just going to make a few little, this is just a sheet of plastic. Um, so I'm just going to, I think it's better to do it when your resin's like slightly thicker so it doesn't spread too much. I find if I do it too early it just spreads, joins up with its neighbours, has a bit of a party. But um, yeah, you can always trim them. If they, if they end up being too big you can trim them for sure. But it just helps if you wait until it's a little bit thicker and chunky like that. I mean, this one is chunkier than my green one anyway because it's stones. So it is more chunky. Chunky. So just drop some out. Um, and then you can come back with either your stick or a toothpick and just kind of level them out a little bit. Might get one more out of that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, I think it's really handy. It's just easier to put down a disc to begin with rather than trying to add your glitter later. Um, and then sometimes you can't see where it is and it falls in a 
in a kind of shape that you don't want or it's glitter and it floats away. Come on. Oh, there we are. So that's those. So what you can do is you can just grab your toothpick and I just kind of flatten them out a little bit. They will flatten, but just to kind of give them a little bit more of a round shape. This one's a bit small. <laughs> so have a go with your little leftover rose. You really don't need a lot. And it just, just gives you some um, little discs. You can use them on your 3, 3D blooms. You don't have to use them for fairy flowers. You can use them on your 3D blooms, which is nice. At least you know that your scent is going to be in the middle. And it's going to be round, which is a bonus. This one needs a tiny bit more. Anyway, I'll do that later. Um, let's get on to this green. Now the green's still quite runny because it's not as thick full of glitter. So I'm just going to put little bits, try to put little bits on. It's a bit, bit harder. And because it's runnier, it will spread more. So don't put them too close to each other and don't make your dots too big. Because like I said, they will they will spread out. You'll be surprised how much they spread. So don't make them too big. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I won't bore you with showing me showing you <laughs> me doing all of these. But uh, when it's time to um, unmold, well, actually, they probably won't be ready because they're so thin. They take so much longer to cure. But um, I'll show you in another video what the finished items look like. The thicker the resin, the faster it cures. So the bloom or fairy that I've just done, I'll be able to unmold that in about five or six hours or so. I will be putting it into, in about a couple of hours, I'll be putting it into my curing machine. But these, they'll take a lot longer because they're so thin. Ah, don't worry if you dribble, dribble a little bit. Once it's, once it's cured, you can just trim that off that one's going to be a bit big anyway all right so that's it for me i will see you when it's time to unmold this wish me luck all right it's done i've just taken it out of the curing machine so it's still hot and bendy <laughs> hot and bendy it should be a thing all right let's have a look I wonder if it's worked what's that little red thing doing there oh gosh little little tip of red Still very soft on the little tips there. Okay, got some transparency there. Just through the edges there. All right. Oh, I'm so nervous at this point. Who's like that? Hey, you're just so looking forward to it working, aren't you? And it's so depressing when it doesn't work. Here we go. Let's see if I've done it. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> did it it's very pink <laughs> little tiny bit of the orange but in saying that I've got the orange on the tips so it kind of blends in now can you see what I was talking about where I said I wanted some blending you know how I put the, the puddle down and then I poured the orange puddle inside that and it kind of makes if you look really carefully you can see like a little bit of orange in each little petal. It kind of blends rather than just being one color, like, like this one. This one's pretty much just all one color. And then the dark is along the edge. But because I did the puddle pores, we've got more blending happening. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did it, I did it, I did it. I'm so excited. So you can just see that little bit of reddish bronzish tips there and the petals oh they're so pretty my black it's a little bit off center it's not too bad not too bad you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna put just a couple of little black dots just in there just in there just to just to balance this a little bit just like this you've seen me do it before it's it's okay we're just cheating just a tiny bit don't don't stress it's all right we can we can do it just a tiny bit just like that just to make it look as if just a little bit more 
just a bit more symmetrical, that's all. That's not really cheating, is it? <laughs> it's not, it's fine, look at that. It looks much better already. So yeah, we can do that. Not a problem at all. So feel free, I won't tell anyone, you can just add a few little dots just to make your center more centered. Um, but then of course, when your little discs are ready, we can use those next time. That way you don't have to worry about anything moving. <gasps> All right. Let's have a little look. I'll put it on the edge here so that I can pick it up. Let's go and have a look at it without those bright lights on. Kick my stool out of the way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me know what you think of this colour scheme. I wish I had more of the orange in the middle. Maybe I need to go back to... I used to do um, my higher amount of resin for the middle and the lower amount for the edge. But with this one, I I did the, the first puddle was the, the larger amount. It was only like 10 grams more. Maybe maybe because I sucked out like three mils and I got the apricot or well, the orange probably sucked out three mils of that I think what I'll do next time if I'm going to do puddles next time I think what I'll do is I'll just make the um the first puddle a little bit a little bit less resin I don't know I look I don't know every time I do it it's different I'm just sort of thinking out loud of what I can do right, let's have a look up here <coughs> those lights that's pretty accurate light there not too bright it's really pretty it's really pretty it's a copperish reddish tinges on the sides there love it oh my gosh I think I've got this you guys I've done two in a row and they've both worked so yay <laughs> I've written down my recipe, excuse the dogs, I've written down my recipe, so I'm following it to a T. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to put up a, a nice fairy flower each time. So yeah, don't forget I will link uh, resincourses.com uh, website down below and also where you get this gorgeous cascade mold from all right thank you so much for watching let me know what other colors you want i should probably do like a blue next day shouldn't i because i've done done the browns and do you like it with no center or do you prefer the center as well let me know what you think down below <laughs> all right oh thank you so much for watching i need to go and um decorate my Christmas tree now. Whole family is coming around shortly. I'm going to put on some Christmas carols and some food and cocktails and uh, decorate the tree. It's our yearly tradition. So yep, I'll see you all real soon for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.